hello and what's up guys today in this video we will see how to read the temperature data with our ds 18b20 sensor and send it to our smartphone over bluetooth low energy called ble with the help of nrf24 l01 module here this module is acting as a ble module so without doing any delay let's get into this Before getting started, make sure you have watched my previous detailed video on how we used our NRF24 L01 module as a BLE module. So anyways, we use the cheapest NRF24 L01 RF module as a BLE module for transmitting real-time DS18B20 temperature sensor data to our mobile phones. Now, to make it all work, we need a microcontroller and here I am with my Arduino Uno. You can go with anyone that you prefer. Here we also need some jumper wires for connection. So make sure you have all these things required for this project. Now let's wire them together. For this, I have this circuit diagram. So, for the circuit part, follow the connection is mentioned on the schematics. Follow the schematics and connect them accordingly. As I have connected everything, our temperature sensor, NRF24 L0 and RF module are connected to the Arduino Uno according to the source and schematics. Now, let's move to the coding part. You can download this code from the video description. After copying the code on the Arduino IDE, make sure you have all these library installed. If not, go to the library manager, then search for each library, then install them one after another. Here we have created a radio instance with CE and CSN pin is 9 and then we created a BTLE instance here. We have also defined the DS18B20 data pin as digital pin number 2. Then one wire instance is set up here. Dollar's temperature sensor get the reference pass from one wire. And in the setup, we have initialized the serial monitor and print some info to the serial monitor as well. Here we have started our BTLE service with the name DS18B20. Then also we have started our DS18B20 temperature sensor as well. In the loop part, we have printed the requesting temperature information on the serial monitor then the command to get the temperature is also set here the float variable temp c is created here temp c helps to check the ds 18 b 20 sensor working properly or not with the help of some serial print as well then again in the loop section we have created a buff variable of type nrf service data here the value of the buff variable is set by the float variable temp c of the type nrf float. Then this code will advertise our temperature data and if the advertisement is failed then the, it will print the following data to the serial monitor. Then it will hop it to the next channel followed by the delay of 1 second. Now let's upload this code to our Arduino board. So we have to upload this code to our Arduino board by selecting the correct board and its respective port. And our device is now ready to send the DS18B20 temperature data to our smartphone. So let's move to our mobile phone 
and open the NRF Connect for mobile application. All, all the permission to enable the Bluetooth and click on Start to scan. If you can't see your device, refresh the page and here we can see our device DS18B20 and click on the name of the device to expand it. And here we can see the temperature data. You can also click on the more to explore more data inside it. This means our BLE module and temperature sensor are working properly as expected. Now let's see some demo. After successful upload of the program, open the serial menu. Here you can see the temperature data is printed on the serial monitor. Now as I put my finger to the temperature sensor, the temperature start rising simultaneously. So we can also refresh the page to see the updated data of temperature sensor. I hope you guys love this video. If you did, please give me a share and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content in the future. That's all for this video. It's me Elson signing off for today. See you soon on the next one.